Hey guys, this is Agent Lozen, and today I'm bringing you the winning tips and tricks for Donkey Kong Country on Super Nintendo Entertainment System. If you want to raise your high score, beat your friends, or take your game to the next level, then you've come to the right place. Welcome to Donkey Kong Island, an exotic jungle paradise and home to Donkey Kong and his family. Well, it was a paradise until King K. Rule and his army of Kremlings showed up and stole Donkey Kong's banana horde. Follow DK and his little buddy Diddy Kong on an action-packed journey to take back their bananas and give the Kremlings a boot for good. There's nothing like that jungle rhythm to get your heart pounding, except for the impending threat of danger. Naughty the Beaver is the first in a long line of enemies you'll have to defeat. Jump in his head by pressing the B button, or roll into him with the Y button to defeat him. When the Kremlin army raided DK's banana horde, they sealed Diddy Kong into a barrel. Press Y nearby the barrel to break it open, or hold and release Y to carry it and throw it at your convenience. In either case, Diddy will be freed from his confines when the barrel is smashed. Press the select button to change between Donkey Kong and Diddy. Diddy is lighter than Donkey Kong. He can run faster and jump further, but there are some enemies he can't beat by jumping on them. Donkey, on the other hand, deals more damage with his jumps and can ground pound with his massive ape body by holding down and pressing Y. Both Kongs complement each other in various ways, although I like using Diddy because of his increased agility. In every level, you can collect letters to spell out Kong, and you'll earn a life if you manage to find all of them. The Kremlings sealed away Donkey's animal friends just like they did with Diddy Kong. Break open this container to free Rambi the Rhino. Press Y to gore enemies with Rambi's horn and hold it to cause him to charge. Any enemy in front of Rambi will get the horn, whether you press Y or not, so feel free to charge away. Rambi can also break walls to reveal hidden secrets. Throwing barrels at walls does the same thing, but Rambi is better for accidentally stumbling into them. Animal tokens can be found inside of levels, or one in minigames like this one. Collect three of the same kind to be taken to a special animal minigame where you can quickly earn lots of lives. Jungle Hijinx is the first stage in the game and very easy to beat. Don't take it for granted though, it also houses a lot of lives that are easy to get. From the beginning of the stage, re-enter Donkey's Treehouse for an easy life. Search the treetops for a few trickier ones, including a green bloom. Roll off of the treetop and jump midair to reach the harder to get balloons. Balloons count as lives for the dynamic duo. Red balloons are the most commonly found ones and will add one life to your stockpile. Green and blue balloons give more lives, but are also more rare. Collect 100 bananas, express all the ostrich tokens, the Kong letters, and finally, visit the secret rooms for even more lives. If you have Rambi with you at the end of the stage, jump on top of the hill and leap into the very corner of the screen. Dismount Rambi midair with the A button to reach a hidden bouncy tire. If you high jump off the bouncy tire, you'll earn 6 more lives, but you have to be quick about it. DK has to brave a tropical storm in the next stage. Army the Armadillo will terrorize our heroes by rolling around as a ball. When Army is in a ball, Diddy Kong can only stun him with his attacks. On the other hand, Donkey Kong employs guerrilla warfare to defeat Army with a single stomp. Use the ropes to swing through the jungle treetops. Your Kong will automatically cling to the rope when he touches it, but you'll have to hold the directional button and press B to dismount again. The game measures the progress you're making not only by the number of levels you've beaten, but also by the number of secret rooms you've found. Most secret rooms like this one present a chance to earn an extra life. In this particular minigame, let your eyes lose focus in the middle of the screen to help identify the barrel with the life. Tired of all that lush jungle scenery? Then let this dark, ugly cave bring you down. 
These jumping crumblings are extra dangerous from all the anaerobic exercise they get. Zingers are nature's assholes. They tend to patrol an area or camp an item, and they'll deal damage no matter what direction you attack them from. Either sneak around them or kill them with the barrel if you want the item they're guarding. A plain barrel sitting around on its own is usually a hint that it'll be required to access a hidden room nearby. Donkey Kong is strong enough to hoist barrels over his head when he carries them, but Diddy carries them directly in front of him. Diddy can open the entrance to a secret room without throwing his barrel if he touches it to the bonus room wall. Either Kong can set his barrel down by holding down and releasing Y. Donkey Kong is a fiercely territorial animal, and he's even willing to go out of his element to protect his interests. It's utterly amazing that he can survive underwater for any length of time, but his big body and lack of agility make him a bad choice for aquatic maneuvering. Keep Diddy Kong in the lead whenever you can. Donkey Kong proudly wears a tie to show everyone that he means business. Unfortunately for all living things around him, DK's monkey business is learned from human leaders, which means that he employs a system of subjugating animals into indentured servants. Meet Ongard the Swordfish. He works long hours as Donkey Kong's underwater chauffeur to keep his family fed. On guard can thrust forward and attack aquatic lifeforms if Donkey Kong commands it. Just like Rambi the Rhino, On guard will attack automatically if he runs into an enemy. Keep that smile on your face, On guard. Donkey doesn't pay you minimum wage to look glum. But I never thought I'd have to hurt anyone. I'm kidding, they're friends. Behind this wall is a hidden Express of the Ostrich token. I ran jungle hijinks twice and found two of them already. When you collect the third token, you'll be taken to that animal's minigame. Expresso runs fast and can flap his wings with B to slowly descend out of the air. Grab all the tokens you can as you make your way to the right. When the countdown starts getting low, climb the far right wall and flutter at the peak of your jump to cross over it. You'll find a hidden extra large token that doubles your current score. Every animal minigame has a large score doubling token hidden somewhere inside of it. Both Clambo and Croctopus are completely invulnerable even to guard's attacks. Learn their patterns and sneak by them. Welcome back to the jungle. The barrel cannons are all fun and games in this level. When you enter a barrel cannon, line it up with the next barrel and fire yourself with B. There isn't a lot of room for error. A misalignment will bring you to your knees. Just take it day by day, barrel by barrel. Firing between barrels can be both fun and frustrating, and victory takes patience. If you want it, you're gonna bleed, but it's the price you pay. There is an easier way through this stage if you want to avoid the barrel cannons altogether. At the start, climb the hill and enter the barrel. It'll shoot you a third of the way across the level. When you land, stop on these Kremlings at the height of their jump to find a second barrel. Cross these hills and use the jumping Kremlings to boost yourself into a distant transport barrel on your left. With a little bit of effort, you can beat the stage in mere seconds. Very Naughty is the boss of Congo Jungle. It's a simple fight, really. Just jump on him until he's dead. You'll run into trouble with this fight when you get too impatient. If you try and jump on Very Naughty too rapidly, he'll bounce off him and he'll hit you. Just take your time and attack conservatively. Don't take it personal, Very Naughty. You had bananas, and DK wants bananas. It's just business. Monkey business. We've cleared the Congo jungle, and now we enter the monkey mines. Early in, Donkey Kong Country is forgiving while it introduces you to its gameplay. Every new area you enter becomes noticeably harder, and by the end, you'll have a healthy case of barrel-induced stress disorder. 
These mind stages are my favorite examples of this game conveying its dripping wet atmosphere through subtlety and simplicity over tasteless Michael Bay explosions. As you pass over the scaffolding, look for Winky the Frog. Winky specializes in jumps and uses them as his primary method of transportation. Winky can even jump on enemies like Zingers without negative consequence, so if you can get past his annoying hopping sounds, you'll learn to really like him. You're in for a treat with Minecart Carnage. It's my favorite stage from when I was a kid. Racing across the rickety tracks in a minecart while Diddy Kong wears that baseball hat is like a scene from Mighty right Temple of Doom. It's full of stupidly close calls, and if I ever die, I'm just excited to try it again. If you're lame, you can completely bypass this stage right from the beginning by jumping over the starting barrel. Kids nowadays just don't know how to have fun if there's no methamphetamine involved. I really hate cave stages. I usually just shut the game off at this point after Minecart Carnage, but I'll play through it for you guys. Roughly halfway through the stage, there's a bouncy tire you can push onto a moving platform to reach a hidden area. All there is to see there is the end for Kong, so if you goof up getting the tire on the platform like I always do, don't worry about it. Stop and Go Station is another stage from the Monkey Mines that I like. The Rock Croc Kremlings in this stage are completely invulnerable to attack, but you can temporarily put them to sleep by enabling the stoplights. It's thrilling because you only have a few seconds to pass through before these immortal monsters awaken to chase after you. The developers must have been like, hey, what if this stage is too scary for kids or Agent Lozen? Let's reward cowards with a warp if they try and turn back when the level begins. Donkey Kong's unquenchable greed for bananas will lead him to defile ancient Mayan ruins in Millstone Mayhem. Worse yet, he's willing to cheat for that sweet potassium. With Diddy Kong, lure a Crusher to the entrance. Put your back to the doorway and jump on Crusher when he's right on top of you. The moment you land on him, hold left on the directional pad. If you timed it right, Diddy will bounce off Crusher endlessly and rack up an enormous number of lives. Keeping this move a secret from the other 99% of Donkey Kong Island residents is how he maintains his power. The boss of the monkey mine, Master Neki, spits these nuts down onto Donkey Kong. Avoid the nuts and spring into Master Neki's head when you have an opening. Got he! <laughs> A wonderfully rendered world awaits Donkey Kong on his journey through Vine Valley and beyond. Rely on your animal instincts and practice all of the tricks we've talked about in this video. Take the fight to King K. Rule and- wait, King K. Rule? Like, King Cruel? I just got that. Huh. Anyway, I like likes, but I love subscribers more. Stay tuned for many more great videos in this series. This is Agent Lozen, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.